Hi, it's a good day. This is the African Crypto Warlord. Hope you guys are doing well. Pow, pow. Uh, I suppose I got to look into Solana as I've got some NFT investments that are playing around. And just to give you a general rule of thumb, I got some at about a hundy. And then I laid it in down here and I sort of bought the top with the NFTs. So we haven't even we haven't even gotten halfway to general forty dollars. Okay. So my hopium and everyone's hopium is usually I had a I had a distribution cone up here at two forty eight, but that was on FTX and they have the longest data and FTX doesn't supply data anymore to trading view, so we have to use this shit. Okay, so fourteen day. As long as Solana keeps on holding below the orange lines, as you as as we start to drop down to the five minutes, you'll see that Solana gets above it and it gets more bullish. So as long as we're holding below the orange line, you can imagine on the 14 day this hidden bull div that's formed can come through. We've got to look for things to say that it's going to push through. Problem is we've had a big yellow doodle out of the pocket here, and we've hit the third standard deviation. So you got to look for hopium that's going to be grinding Solana sideways instead of dumperu, right? As much as everyone wants it to go up, it's not going to go. It's not going to. It is can go up, but it's going to be healthy if it grinds sideways and then goes up. All right. So that you can put a hidden bull div here. Wait for this longer term time frame to mean revert. Give it the opportunity to mean revert. Okay. Now we have the seven day. This is a seven day Laplace distribution on that is in the same place as Bitcoin. Let me turn this off so that everybody can see. And what can we see? We see that at the time of BTC distributing to the downside, this is that candle that came from Solana. Its mean is $101, okay? What you can see over here is if Solana holds above this distribution, a plus distribution, as you can see, it hits them quite nicely, all right? It's, there's pretty much candle bodies everywhere, wicks to these regions. All right, okay, so, so Solana grinds out above this. It naturally wants to mean revert immediately to $41, $70, $94, and $101.70, all right? That's what the seven days telling me. Let's see if that is a viable option. So we can see that we have some bearish Aksharun coming in for Solana Wars today. We have a cross through, but this cross will be confirmed with the next candle prints below this line that will form next at $23.96. If that does happen, then it's going to be very easy to keep Solana below this line and allow mean reversion through under contraction phase. That will, if it closes below here, it starts wanting to target $14.25. All right, let's see what the current ranges are. Current ranges are $12. Ooh, let's be precise here $12.02. And so the upside is 48, 48. All right, that's the seven day targets. Five day, I like to put a lot of waiting on the five day. So this goes on the five day, this goes for the whole crypto market. So I've done BTC and XRP today, right? And everybody's in the same position. Now this is where strength in a coin will show. Is a lot of the shit coins are gonna drag back down to any one of those regions that we've been seeing down here, those drastic levels, all right? But if this, Contraction and volatility kicks through and both this gray and this white line go point down the hill. It means that there's going to be positive drift. Volatility is contracting or it's negatively correlated, which means price go up. If this does that, then this turns into a bull div, which keeps that green and can put in another little hidden bull div over here in this play and you can carry on through. So the five days is very important. That's why I say sideways is key right sideways is key two for about 10 days sideways would be key let's go to look for other targets now if solana poo was to go for a run just on the three day targets we have to the downside 20 with 12 dollars just call it on the dot our mean you have to stay above the mean to go sideways for 24 dollars and 12 cents and your three day target is 38 89 dollars okay now how does this start to get bearish what we can see is here's a zone of liquidity at 19.18 cents. So $19.18 is a zone of liquidity, right? It will become, it will be a wick opportunity sometime in the market at around 18.26, all right? So as much as everyone's bullish crypto is crypto, we must expect wicks back to certain liquidity levels. Now, what turns the Lana down and starts to have a bearish scenario is if you have the next 
if this candle closes below the mean, it's just had the opportunity to break above. So we're going to expect it to hold or go sideways. But when it does start to come back down sometime within the next two, two days and six hours, it confirms this three day mean reversion to the downside, which means these targets become valid. All right, $18, cent, uh, $18 to 1936. All right, so three days was highly important. What can we see here? We can see that Solana keeps a bullish posturing as long as it keeps above $24.66. Furthermore, $24.91. We keep it above $24.91 for the next two candle prints on the 24 hour. You can expect this mean reversion play to play true and beat the negative, uh, the, the, the bad div that formed over here. But the only reason the bad div has formed over here is because this candle is smaller than this candle. It's just currently lower than now. But as soon as it breaks up, the bad div will shoot off and then that will have everyone else think, oh wow, now there's a hidden bull div. So they're trying to set a hidden bull dev on the 24 hour to play through what keeps it going sideways and potentially brings it back down to 2162. 2162, any any guy here, a wick to 2332. Is if this stays contracting what's positively correlated, that's negative drift. That's what's stopping a lot of the little lower term time frame pumps from carrying on through to the upside is the fact that there's negative drift. So people know to scalp to the short side at least within the day. Okay, now this is where it becomes interesting, and it's good that we've been saying sideways because until the 12 hour confirms what it wants to do with regards to volatility, we have expansion to the downside saying dump, and then we have contraction which is saying positive drift. So it puts it at a 50 50. So usually, when that happens, or 100 fucking percent of the time when that happens, this is a doji. All right, and a doji means it's easy to flip the data. So if they set a doji here then we know it's going to be easy to flip the data in the opposing direction which is still bullish but as long as they keep on closing below the orange line this starts to become more true what you look out for in the 12 hour is for example uh, there let me do two what you gotta look out for is when this is red the market dumps all right Let's switch everything off when this part is red, the market dumps. When it's green, the market pumps. When it's red, it dumps. And we got green over here. Perfect. I love these offer trading tools. We got green at $10. All right. So this is its next opportunity to go try and make red. So we might we mustn't always be so hopium to the upside. But anyway, so then we throw in like reverse wave trend. Now we know if it closes below the reverse wave trend. More than likely it's going to go red, but what saves it is 23.41. We can throw up another target. If it breaks any of these, as you can see, we smoked ultimate power mean, so it would be a squeeze up into 26.33, I reckon. Uh, another touch before before to the downside is what I'm going to propose, unless these low term time frames look like dog shit. Okay, so here we're going to expect a new move. You can ex you can say that if it stays above 24.66 cents. This is going to be bullish, a bullish move out of here when volatility expands. Why? Because we're going to look for an expansion phase and we're going to look for these guys to turn around because they've already been hanging here. Okay, six hour is looking for a new trend. We've got a hidden bull div. So it still wants to stay bullish. It can keep the hidden bull div if it says about 24.48 on the six hour. So there's a lot of variance and a lot of range. So now shit's starting to get tight. So we've obviously trimmed the top side here. So we'll be looking for 24.60 off of this hidden drive that wants to stick itself through. This is true if it closes at below $25 on the dot. Under contraction, so it's more likely going to play through on the three hour um, to the downside. It wants to go target $24.60. Let's go look at the 90 minute. Okay, now we've got VRE levels on. General idea being is now we're going to be more doctor doctor about it. This continuation that I'm reading here. So this is starting to expand to the downside. As soon as this white thing ticks in, we have chaos and disorder saying she's ready to trend to the downside and that will confirm. So generally any closes below, I'm going to put the jam, jam a roo. There we go, starting to close below. So closes below here, uh, not so good for the 90 minute when we print in 36 minutes. So yeah, the next candle, if it closes below the red line, maybe look for continuation down into, we'll use this mean, 24.16, 22.18.
but if it holds above this red level you can carry on being bounced around in this region let's go be more specific so this is the thumbnail that you guys have seen these are the regions is 24 16 cents that gets confirmed now and this is also getting confirmed in the next 45 minutes okay so there's two targets that are currently in the book and the general idea being is if it can hold its structure above this mean and and this red line doesn't cross through the mean this stays bullish as soon as this red line crosses through the mean over here at 2483 this target gets put into play you fail that target you come down to 2283 okay longer term structure in solana if this was to get really hectic you're looking at 2161 that's maybe it could be worth about 36 hours worth of data to get you down there if this kicks up really hard um, general idea we can see on a 15 minute that there you go so there's negative drift this is going to drag through to the bottom side here of the red um, five minute contraction and some a little bit more expansion so there's a little bit of waiting going through in the moment as we say you break below 2486 you're going to look for continuation down to those previous targets we're going to sum it off with the seven day distribution so that now we've said these numbers and they have some relevancy all right solana whales here it comes close below 2438 we're triggering one of those targets all right we've been pulling up 2180 it's 16 16 if you can't hold above here but if you hold above here we're going to expect a run to the upside well immediately if you hold above here you're going to expect a run up to 2685 you hold above there on the seven day let's see if that's going to flick the data around you could have one more candle of expansion to get you up there and then you'd need positive drift to kick you out of this market so we're, we're wanting sideways over here okay above 2420 sideways above 2420 things are healthier um or anything above will be long as soon as you start closing below those regions we start looking for those orange lines i hope this was helpful if it was valuable please do like and subscribe or let's have some solana wars in the comments ciao bella african crypto warlord out